Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archer. It's our choice. Welcome to the choice. This week, we're going down to Florida and we're gonna Whoa. go hunt Osceola turkeys. If I push you real hard, you can fall yes. in. We'll be down with Osceola Outfitters and this is not your normal turkey show. You know, we've, we've I've said it before, I don't know how many times, but I hate turkey hunting. I know you do, I know you do. The, the first hunt here is going to be Mike Looper from Hoyt, who joined us down there, and he takes an awesome gobbler. Check this one out. Well, we finally made it. We're here at Osceola Outfitters in, in Florida, and uh, we rolled in late last night and kind of uh, got our bow sight in this morning. And we've been checking out a couple fields out here, and uh, we saw two really nice toms with a couple of hens just not far from here. So it's about 2.30, and uh, we're, we set up a blind, uh, and we've, uh, we're going to head out there right now and get set up and uh, hopefully make something happen. So. Mike, what's up with the face mask? Oompa, doompa, doompa dee doo. <laughs> and the gobbler, the big tom came out right after him. I mean, within 10 seconds. Right We're in the woods, where, they, where the turkey entered the woods. And uh, we've, we've seen a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood throughout this whole area right here. You can see it come, comes along this log. So we're gonna continue and follow this blood trail hopefully find this bird. So let's take I am so pumped right now, I can't even tell you. Oh. Mm. I am so excited. You know, I hit, him, I hit him far back, a little bit back, but he was quartering away, and we went and watched the video on the TV, and uh, you know, it had made a, a, a good sound, and so we were pretty confident. We were gonna wait till, till night to recover the bird, um, just so it wouldn't fly up, but uh, we decided, because after we replayed the video and watched it, uh, we felt confident we could come in here and and uh, I couldn't be happier. I'm so excited and um, Osceola Outfitters here in Central Florida. Just We've just seen a pile of birds this, this uh, weekend, this week. And uh, my man Pat called the bird in and uh, couldn't be any more excited. So um, I'm, just, I'm just thrilled to death. Check out my hunt. You know what, going out there with that crossbow, it's, it's like bow hunting because you only have one shot, it's the arrow. But then again, it's like shotgun hunting because you've got it, you're holding it, you don't know, have nowhere near the movement that it would take to you know, make your draw. And this is a blast, you've got to try this. All right, what's going on is we've spotted three gobblers and they're at the point of a field. And what they normally do is they come and walk this gas line down to go and roost, oh my gosh way beyond the swamp. So we've just, now that we were driving, we were going to another spot, but we located these birds. We were actually just came, rushed to set up. We got some HS netting. We're using all the natural foliage to get, help blend us in, and we're gonna see what happens. Don't go away. The choice is coming right back. Welcome back to The Choice. Now let's get back to my hunt because I'm going to tell you, it, we've said it, if you've never done this crossbow hunting for turkeys, where it's legal, you've got to try it because it's a blast. It's a blast? It's a, well, it's a th <laughs> I'll push it right in right here. <laughs> Yes. 
Can you imagine? We have watched these birds. Hoppy's watched the birds. Pat watched those birds for how many days? Go up and down, strutting all along that, that you know, the, like the pipeline road. Over and we, over. We get set up. Everything's perfect. And right as they're coming in, they duck off the road like like they saw like they, something. I and think I, maybe that reflection, that could have been part of it. Broken. The monkey is off the little Italian's back. <laughs> what happened? What? Why? Just because it's Ralph, does he walk off he, the road? He walks off the, the, the lane. Unbelievable. I'm thinking to myself, what? Why does he wait till right here to walk off the road and then all of a sudden he comes right back out? Unbelievable. Oh gosh. Come on over here. Oh. I've seen his leg hanging. I heard him flop. Oh yeah, I heard him flop. Again, I'll stand here so it makes you look taller. <sighs> oh, God. Brother Hop? <laughs> A couple little yelps, he comes up the road and then he gets right there. And he walks right away. And I'm thinking, Ralph, he's, he's right look in front it. of you. You know, I don't care what weapon of choice you use. Look at, I still get the twitches in my hands and my arms. Woo, baby. I was pumped because then I was just, I was so Cause furious. Because he, he walked away. And I'm thinking, why does a turkey come all the way down the road and then walk in the bushes? And I'm thinking, what did he see? He didn't see anything. No, there's nothing he could and see. And then he just comes right back out. <laughs> and, I'm like, and I was like, oh. You got the arrow? Smell of victory. <laughs> hey, here he is. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo. Oh, yeah. Drag old big boy up on out of there. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's dandy. Oh. Oh. Look at those spurs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. About a nine inch beard, eight and a half. Look at right beard. by his oh, beard. You cut his darn beard. Look at that. Oh, I you told cut you his mine beard, beard off. Lower than you thought. It's like barely hanging. It's barely hanging. hanging. Oh. oh, baby. <laughs> Look at that Spitfire, huh? XP. Well, as you know, every spring we come down here with Ashley All Outfitters, Happy Kemper, and the Kempfers. And we have tremendous, I mean tremendous success. Vicky has more success than I normally, but this is it. You know, the reason we came up with the Choice TV show was real simple. We need to stop the fighting amongst ourselves, huh Hop? I mean, yes. and I mean, the, the, the best way to do it is to finally get more vocal and say, listen, we don't care with what you hunt. If it's legal in your state, province, or country, just go hunting. And here's proof. We used our 10-point crossbows, which is 100% legal down yeah. here. And you talk about, you know, we've, we've taken, our, we've taken, been very fortunate, I've taken my slam with my bow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We've taken shotgun. We've shot turkeys with muzzle loader shotguns. Mm -hmm. This is the first bird I ever took with, with a crossbow. And I, I mean, wow. <laughs> well, believe it or not, it's fixed turn, right? And you know, I'm not a weatherman, but I believe there's about a, 10% chance of 
some rain on this hunt. At least that's what we were told. Yes. Yeah. I sensed mm -hmm. it. I felt yeah. it. Mm Stay tuned, the choice will be right back. Welcome back to the choice. Now, you know, only you can come up with situations like this. Spot and stalk turkeys? Not even spot and stalk, I think uh, spot and snorkel. Yeah, you're about right on that one. We, we watched this gobbler out there for almost an hour, or almost two hours, I'm sorry, oh, yeah, almost a little two, hours. two hours. And he was out there, he had his hens, that 10% chance of rain turned into a 100% chance of rain, and then the hens left, and then all of a sudden it turned into a 1,000% chance of it rain. It poured, it was it a was Florida like typhoon. typhoon down there, and Hoppy and I decided, you know what, what the heck, he's standing out there at about 75 yards, let's see if we can't close the distance, and I think we just used the rainstorm as our cover. That poor bird sat there. There'd be no morons out here coming after me. I'm safe. Little did he know. Call me a moron. Commercial break. What is up with that? I think that tortoise was faster than you two. for the head. Broke his neck! <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> don't stand up tall. <laughs> Woo! We're idiots! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, Hockey, I just gotta burn it. <laughs> we're freaking stupid. You guys, <laughs> as you've seen, we were in a bad thunderstorm. We, there's nothing we could really do. The truck is a long ways from here. We didn't even know it was going to come a storm. No, we could they, hear they, one we, in the we background. We could hear it, but it was way over it was way there. Way over here, and the next thing we know, this thing is it on top of us. We got wrapped up and looking at this turkey, and he got out there during the rainstorm and stood there, stood there, and I said, We've got to go back to the truck anyway. Let's just crawl out there and see Let's if see we can kill him. Happens. And I'm thinking the whole time, I'm thinking, is this the Lord's way of saying, get Ralph and Vicky apart? <laughs> Either the lightning's going to hit that tree or it's going to hit gonna Vicky hit and Hoppy out there. Oh, no, you broke his time. neck. But we're a little wet now, and then I just want to show you what happened to my boots. It, it's like 90-something degrees outside earlier. So I've had my muff boots kind of down around my ankles to keep me dry. Watch this. Oh, I don't even know if I can get it off of my foot now. Okay, wait a second. Watch this. Ready? <laughs> Welcome back to The Choice. What can we say? You know, we've always said it and we always will continue, and that is get these little guys and the girls out hunting and fishing out and enjoying. Out the outdoors, period. I mean, that's it. And, and we're not just saying hunting. And here's a great example. Sage Kemp for Happy Sun. Yeah takes the 10 point crossbow. Now understand, he was gonna hunt with his bow. He, we had his Hoyt Rintec, it was all set up, ready to go. He was gonna hunt with it. The problem is, when, Hoppy, when we saw this boar and we realized how big of an animal it was, why take the chance, uh, you know, because he wasn't shooting the correct poundage for kinetic energy. So we ended up getting the crossbow. He's been shooting that all summer long. I mean, oh, you know what well I mean? Well, he's so taking he, turkeys yep. and hogs already with it. And lo and behold, <laughs> He makes it happen. I'm not gonna talk very loud because we just spotted a hog out here in this field. Now the grass is about knee deep. It's not real thick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk part of the way and then we're gonna have to get down and maybe crawl or bend over and go, okay? Yeah, see. am I supposed to stand up when I shoot him? Yeah, well, we'll see. You may have to kneel down and shoot, but you stay directly behind me, okay? There is nothing better than sharing the outdoors with your son or daughter. What we're going to do is it's going to be dark when we find this hog, like I said, but I think you want to get your dog. Yeah, I want to get. We're going to get Sage's dog, Bailey. She's not been out of the pen. We're at the tail end of our turkey season. She'll be glad to go in there and trail that hog up. Got some nice teeth, don't it? Look at that. See an ant. See an ant. Ants, yeah. He only come in the woods here like 20 yards and died, so we could have we could have trailed him on up, but we never you never know. Bailey needed to get out of the pen anyway. She's yeah. been in there for a month. Yeah. Alright. 
We hope you enjoyed this week's show on The Choice. <laughs> He's a ham, isn't he? He sure is. What are you doing there, bud? We just want to remind everyone the whole, <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of The Choice is to remember that it's your choice. You decide what animals you want to hunt, what weapons you want to use, and what method of hunting you want to do. As long as we all keep continuing to go out into the woods and out into the outdoors and continue growing the sport, that's what the choice is all about. As usual, we'll never change it, and that is, please stop the fighting amongst ourselves. We need to realize that we are all on the same page. So we hope you make your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.